In the last tutorial, I bypassed the Network Manager tool to manage my network interfaces and configure my networking and my IP addressing. And so I manually configured uh, ETH0 and ETH1 on a CentOS server. And I did it by editing the if config um, configuration files. And that way, if the server restarts, our configuration is loaded and it's saved. And so we can maintain our same configuration. And by doing it manually, we get the benefit of bypassing the network manager, which is kind of wants to take control of your network interfaces, and we control them ourselves. In this video, what I want to do is I want to say, what if you have a scenario like we do right now in our lab, where, you know, unlike this top one where you have, let's say, ETH, um, ETH0 on the WAN side, and then ETH1 on the LAN side, what if you only have an ETH0. So you only have one network interface, but you want to use it like two interfaces. Well, what you could do is you could create sub interfaces and basically trunk off of your server out of the one network card, out of ETH0, and basically divide ETH0 into the ETH0.110, or let's say ETH0.11 VLAN, or the ETH0.111 VLAN. So what we can do is in that way, each sub interface that you create, right, is a VLAN with it's a trunk and a VLAN and it'll have its own IP address. So you could run both the 111 network off of the one Ethernet interface and the 11 network off of that one Ethernet interface. And then that trunk port could go to a switch. We could also be configured to handle those two VLANs on the trunk. And so you could communicate out of two networks through one network interface on your CentOS server. So how would you configure something like that in CentOS and Linux manually? Well, to do that, what we got to do is we need to configure ETH0 and change ETH0 from just ETH0 to ETH0.11 or .110 and ETH0.111. So in this example, we're going to do ETH0.11 and ETH0.111. OK, so the first thing we want to do is we want to list our network scripts you can see on this virtual machine CentOS server, I actually have two NICs, ETH0, and I have an ETH1, but we're going to pretend like we just have ETH0. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to back up our configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back here, and I'm going to copy these files. So I'm going to copy ETH0, Etsy, sysconfig, network scripts, ifconfig, dash ETH0, I'm going to copy it to ETH0. Dot, let's see here. Dot, let's say, 11. And then I'll also copy it to 111. So that's going to be for the subinterface ETH0.11 and the subinterface ETH0.111. And that'll be for the 11 VLAN and the 111 VLAN. OK? And then also, what I want to do is I want to do a backup of my configuration. So I'll call it back. Two. So that's going to copy this file to this file in the same folder. And I did that three times. So let's take a look at it now. So if we go back and we list this folder that we're in, you can see that we now have not only if config ETH0, we have ETH0.11, ETH0.111, and we even have our backup file. So now all we have to do is configure these sub interfaces to get the configuration we want. Now I'm going to do it in order. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure just this if config e0. So this is we're basically getting rid of e0 and replacing it with e0.11 and e0.111. But we still need to edit this file, believe it or not. So what we'll do is we'll say I'm going to use vim here and we'll edit the e0. And the e0 has a previous configuration in it. And what we need to do is we basically need to remove a lot of lines from this. So what I'm going to do is I'll hit I for insert, and then I'm going to remove a lot of things. Now, basically, we don't need a gateway on ETH0, or a netmask, or an IP address, or any of this. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. All right, get rid of this. 
what we need for this is just for it to come up. So device ETH 0, network manager controlled no. That's right, we do not want network manager to control it. On boot, we do want it to come up. ETH 0 has to come up if ETH 0.11 is going to come up and ETH 0.111 is going to come up. Then this interface needs to be up when the system starts up. So I think this is all we would need, right? So to save this, and once again I'm in I'm in Vim. I hit I to insert mode. So now I need to escape. So I hit the escape key, and then colon, and then WQ to save. So now that's done. And if we want to test it, we could just cat it out. All right, and that looks good. So I'm going to type clear. And now it's time to edit our other files. So this time we're going to edit ETH0. And we'll start with the, um, let's start with the more important one, which would be the public side. So if we're going to use the 11 network for the public side, or for the outside interface, right, that's internet facing side of the network, we'll edit this one first. So I'm going to hit I for insert, all right. And we need to change a few things here. So this is now no longer device ETH0, it's ETH0.11 for sub interface 11 and VLAN 11. Network manager control, no, that's good. On boot, yes. All right, we need to set up our IP address, let's say, and our gateway. And if we were going to run a um, DNS server, we'd want to put that in too. So what we'd do is we'd say DNS equals, let's say we're going to make this server the DNS server eventually. We haven't done that yet, but we're going to do that. So we'd put this in, and this would point to our own server to be the DNS server. The other thing we're going to want to do is we're going to have to say capitals VLAN equals yes. All right. Okay, and that looks good. I'm going to change the name to dot 11 here. And all of this looks pretty good. We could actually get rid of some of this. We don't necessarily need it. Okay, so that sets up our network and it puts in the VLAN line and we put in the DNS line and we made sure it's on boot so let's save this one so what we'll do is we'll say escape colon WQ okay so now let's do the next one so the next one if we edit it, it's going to be the 111 VLAN so we're talking about ETH 0 0.111 and we're going to edit that file and we're going to do basically the same thing except slightly different we'll say dot 111 Insert mode first, I. Okay, now I can do this. Dot 111. Network manager controlled, no, we don't want it to control it. On boot, yes, we want it to come up. We need to set the address. If we're going to be the router for the 111 network, then we're going to need to be 111.1. .1. We don't need a gateway because that's on the other side of the router pointing to, let's say, our wireless router or a router or ISP or whatever. So what we do is we can leave that out. Also DNS was configured on the other side of the router too so we can leave that out of here as well. Um, what we will need to do though is put VLAN equals yes. Okay and that looks good. I'm going to for this name put the 111 network all of this looks good. So I'm going to hit escape colon WQ to save. And if I want, I can cat those out just to make sure that they're there. 111. All right, perfect. And 11. All right. That looks good. And let's do a clear command and then an if config. And if we do that, we can see that our interfaces have not completely changed yet. Um, 
So what we want to do is let's take these down and then up again. So we'll say if down eth zero and we'll say if down eth one because we're pretending like we're not going to use it and then we'll bring them up and we'll say if up eth zero and if up eth zero dot eleven and if up eth zero dot one eleven okay so now I'll type clear and then if config and now you can see that we have eth zero with no IP address right but it's up but more importantly we have our eth zero dot eleven sub interface for VLAN 11 and the IP address on the 11 network and then on the eth0.111 sub interface we have a completely different network completely different IP address right and this will be our private network our inside network and this will be our outside network or outside facing network and that looks good let's see if our route took so what we could do is we could I'll type clear again and type route and you can see we have a default route to 11.1 which we had just set up so all of our configs are good and we've created sub interfaces and so we've turned eth0 into two sub interfaces for a trunk carrying two VLANs for the 11 VLAN and the 111 VLAN alright in the next video we're gonna install bind we're gonna install DNS services on our CentOS router